morning everybody it's wednesday march 23rd 2022 when i'm filming this and we're off got the low bed behind us i have no idea what i'm even picking up they just said take that trailer well what am i picking up They're like i don't know but you'll need that trailer well, okay i like surprises it should be fun i have no idea That's trucking, right? Just go pick it up. It's over there. Bring it somewhere. Bring it over there at this time. That's all I need to know, really. I'll, t I'll take care of the rest. All the in-between stuff, the loading it, tying it down, getting it there. That's my job. All I need to know is where is it and where does it need to be? And when? I'm guessing it's probably some really high freight. I, the way it sounded, it's not like some big bulldozer or something it's it's some kind of big crate that's really high that would have been over height if we were on any other trailer I, i'm pretty sure that's why i have this trailer today just because it has a really low deck but at least we're trucking right i'm surprised that there's such a shortage of truck drivers like i'm really surprised and it's been that way for decades who wouldn't want to drive trucks all day like guys my age, don't we love trucks? Don't you love trucks? My whole life, that's all I've ever wanted to do is drive trucks. And here I am, living the dream. But it seems most people my age, or a lot of people my age, don't want to drive trucks in real life. They just want to dream about it. Well, why dream about it? Get your commercial license. We call your commercial license employment insurance because there's always somebody looking for a commercial driver, always. You get your commercial license, you'll always have a job. You'll never be out of work. You'll always be able to pay your bills. They're usually pretty good paying jobs too. I mean, unless you want to work at 7-Eleven the rest of your life. I'm just saying, this will pay you better and it's a lot more fun. So that's what it looks like detached. And here's the trailer. I am actually loading up a big piece of machinery. I'm gonna drive it right up here. I'm uh, loading up that thing right there with the blue cover on it, the tracks. That guy's coming to drive it on here for me. Unless he wants me to do it. I, I was told he's coming to do it, but it's sitting there running. This is a digger of sorts. You can see the augers up there, right? That's what it looks like from the front. So that's my load for today, or for this morning anyway. There's some pretty aggressive tracks. And like I said, I was told that he was going to come out here and load it himself. Sometimes we have to load them ourselves too. That's why I'm a little confused, but I'll just wait here for a phone call a little bit. Roll it right on, hook the gooseneck back up, and pull it to the other side of the city. And this thing is mostly powered by hydraulics and uh, this little gas motor that sits in here.
to where it needs to be. second well, we got it to the other side of the city there's my truck parked over there with the gooseneck on it it's out of the way we're about to back this thing off here right onto the service road and there it goes down the road off my trailer over there now I've got to hook these things back up Out of my trailer over there. This is actually my first uh, use of the RGN trailer since I've been trained on it for an actual uh, big piece of heavy equipment. It's the first one that uh, oh, I got shocked myself on the door there. It freaked me out. <laughs> yeah, uh, last time I used this trailer, I just hauled those boxes on it. Right, it wasn't really. Uh, what, what the trailer was designed for. But this is exactly what this trailer was designed for and it was pretty cool to actually use it for its intended purpose. That was fun. That was a pretty heavy load, but it wasn't wide, uh, just a little heavy. But we got her done. We just had to bring her across the city. It's not like I went across the continent or anything or across the country, but uh, it, was, it was still fun. So before when we hooked it up, I gave you the perspective on top of the truck, right? Now we got a hook up here. You gotta get it just right, just straight. There we go. Oh, my back window got dirty fast. Yikes. There she comes, you see her in the mirror? I gotta line up my tire tracks exactly with my old tire tracks. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna slowly back up towards it. Now before I hit it, I'm gonna stop my brakes. Let's go and see how straight we are. Okay, oh, well, looks like we're gonna, looks like we're gonna hit it. See, it, it hits that, it's sort of like a fifth wheel, right? It hits that, it sort of guides it in. Just gotta make sure that you're straight this way. Okay, and you back her up until on the deck, you can feel it. And, oh, there it goes. Okay. Sometimes you gotta bump it pretty hard. Not pretty hard, I should, say, should be careful about that. Shouldn't tell you to bump it hard. It might break something, but you know, give it a little bit more of a love tap. Let's see how we're looking here. Okay, we're in both those pins. Okay, I'm gonna put this pin down now. You see this thing here? It's supposed to go down and in there, and it'll go in there once it clicks in. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit here, and uh, that might help. I'm gonna have to start the motor for that. Got 
to get it to click in there. Lock up my diffs, get a little more traction, and there we go. One more push, I think that did it. Okay, let's see our gloves. Our favorite corner here still exists, if ever, anybody's wondering. Still can't tell which road they're on. Those of you who haven't watched this before, this is like Suicide Corner here in Winnipeg. We're on Highway 59 South. La Jamodier is that way. Highway 59, as you can see, South is that way. I gotta get across this highway, but I can't see anything because there's a bridge, like a hill right there. So I can't see the cars coming. They're coming at 60 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. And they're coming at 90 kilometers an hour, 55 miles an hour. And the speed limit changes right about here. So they should all be doing around about 90 or 55 kilometers an hour, uh, 55 miles an hour. So they're going pretty fast. So by the time I see them, it's already too late to go. See, that direction is already all clear. I'm clear on that side. I think right after this SUO, oh, we're gonna give her, we're gonna give her. Nope, 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 it's too soon. Nope. No, see if you can see them already, it's usually too late. And then on that side, there's a highway behind this highway. And over there, it's hard to tell which road they're on. Are they on this road? Or are they on the perimeter exit, the other road over there? Because if they're on the other road, I can go, it's clear. But if they're on this road, I'm definitely not clear. I'm gonna be cutting them off hardcore if I, if I turn in there. See, now we're clear here. But I'm not clear there. Okay, after this, white SUV, okay? If nobody comes, I think we're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna send it. Sending it. I'm gonna go right into the right lane right away. Yes! I hate that corner. But yet, I always find myself at that corner. Yeah, I could go other routes, but you know, I'm a glutton for punishment, I guess. I like the challenge. I made it back. Now we gotta drop this trailer here. I hate leaving it dirtier than I found it, but with this weather we're having, springtime, is what they call it. That's a messy time of year. Okay, so I need my uh, landing gear, which is right in here. This is like a, a pocket for stuff in here. One landing gear. Ugh. Two landing gears. Oh, it's gonna have to go underneath there. Just put this here for now. Ah, yeah. See, the, this trailer has landing gear built right in. This one you gotta throw these under there. These are my flags. I want to keep those before I forget. Man, I'm getting my exercise here. Man, what is this? Okay, this should all be ready to go here. Guess I should turn the fuel on. Thought I'd take a shortcut. Nope, you gotta open this up. Turn the fuel on. There you go. What you doing? What you doing to me? Pull that choke out. What's going on here? I had you running there before, just fine. Ah, oh, it needs a new battery. 
the battery was dead this morning and I guess it didn't have enough of a chance to charge. Good thing I've got a booster pack with me. I'll go grab that right away. Let's put these flags away first so we don't lose them. I'm gonna have to let them know that the battery needs charging or needs to be replaced probably. I mean, I charged it up pretty good before. I thought it was good. It's not turning over fast enough. Okay. I borrowed this battery pack before. This will help. Give it a little bit of an extra kick in the pants. These are the kind of things that are included in trucking. It's not just driving. It's a lot of other BS too. But that's what makes it fun, right? Wouldn't be fun if it was easy. There we go. All right, now do you want to start for me? I'm gonna stand down here so I can pull on this choke a little better. Just like that, just like that. Detach this trailer. Can unhook this stuff. Airlines. Lights. Now we're gonna lower this down. it up first, move that up like that, now I'm gonna lower it down onto the wood. lift it up from there later if it is too low next time. Grab our fifth wheel puller. You know, it's a good thing I spent 200 bucks on these new shoes. They're waterproof. Okay, we should be good to roll out. I think. I guess we'll find out. I guess we should go over here and shut the motor off so we don't burn all the gas. Until next time. Oh, feed is in. We'll close this. Wait one second. One second. Oh, turn the, turn the fuel off, Josh. Okay, now we can do it. Okay. C'est fini. Au revoir. Oh, feed is in. Ciao. It was fun.